Next thing we're going to do is install the power supply. So first things first, we have to remove it. There we have the power supply. Pretty much overkill for what we need. But So in this particular chassis, we're going to position the fan to be underneath uh, so that it can get airflow as needed. What you do is you sink it up along the sides and we're going to use the nice black screws which Antec provided to connect it. It's up to you. It doesn't make a real difference. Um, the back of our chassis is gray anyways, but it came with it so might as well use it. And we're just going to start the screws here by hand. Let's get our screwdriver out and tighten everything. Probably don't need the modular cables, but we'll put those to the side. So you see the, the power connectors. Uh, some of these are not uh, modular, so we have no choice but to live with them. So first thing we're going to do is connect the most important one. This is the ATX connector, and we actually we'll need all of them here. So these will go to the appropriate connector on the motherboard. In this case, it's pressed up right alongside the case. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we're going to make sure not to clip these cables when we do so. Okay, so we've got everything in. You hear a click again. Okay, so we have the ATX power connector. And you can route that to the side, hopefully. Um, it's a really thick cable, so you really don't want that congesting things messing up with your airflow. Okay, so we have all of the mandatory cables, unfortunately, unwrapped here. And uh, since we have a mini ITX motherboard, we really don't need some of these. We're not using a PCI Express um, video card. So the only thing we need to connect is the four pin, uh, additional power connector for the motherboard. So we connect that again, route the cable and we'll clean this up a little bit later. We want that connected. And now that's, that's it for the motherboard. Motherboard's got everything set. Uh, with the components that we have in the power supply. You don't want to tuck away these cables yet because we're going to use them um, with the other components like the hard drive and the uh, CD-ROM drive. 